Devin back again here from Devin's Vapes. Uh, today is, uh, it's obviously Vamo Day. Um, I have ordered a bunch of products from discountvapors.com. I ordered a charger. Uh, this just kind of comes up and then you plug your battery in there. Uh, I've ordered this 18650 battery and in or uh, the 860 8650 battery <laughs> is uh, is going into by the way I've already used this that was just a little unboxing a little bit there the vamo yeah so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shine this up real quick with this with this I have a blanket right here but um one thing you got to know this is the gunmetal color so it's a real finger magnet like bad finger magnet um, it's just it's terrible for having finger magnets everywhere just terrible but there is it all shined up there it is I should say it's got a face on it and uh, the the coolest thing I think about this is is that you know you screw this bottom cap off and you can put an 18650 in there but also you can take this chamber off here and drop that and scratch it you can take a whole chamber off the whole chamber comes off and with that off uh, it's a lot smaller now I think it's an 18340 battery or an 18400 I don't know uh, but it's it's a lot smaller and compact the Vamo uh, but right now I'm I'm using it in 18650 mode so this chamber goes on like this Okay, so pay attention because this is what's going to happen when you get yours. You're going to put the battery in, and when you're putting this on, you're going to see that LED screen light up. Yep, see it? It lit up. Now, five on, obviously, five off. Okay, and then you can turn it back on. Five on. So, uh, with all that there, I'm going to go ahead and show you right now if I can get it down. Uh, it starts right there. You can see that. That's wattage right there. Okay, that's three, five watts. And it goes all the way up to 15. Oh, it goes all the way up to 15 watts. There it is, 15 watts. Um, and then if you hold both the plus and the minus down, it'll switch to voltage. There you go. It's at voltage now. So, and then in increments of one, it goes from three volts to six volts. Oh, pass it. Six, three, six. There you go. There you go. Um, I've been using the wattage setting, but I'm going to go ahead and screw on this Vivian over here. Make sure it's not leaky. I'm going to screw on this Vivino over here. And uh, we're going to see how much resistance it is by holding this button. I'm just going to hold that. 2.9. 2.9 ohms. Sorry, I was just up in the, the camera. But as you saw, 2.9. Sure enough. 2.9 ohms. So for volts, uh, where's my thing? For uh, uh, where is it at? Okay, so I can probably go pretty high with the voltage here. We're gonna start it at four for that. Or three, three, eight. We'll start it at three, eight for two point nine. Actually, it's a little burnt, a little bit. Uh, that's a real subtle flavor, though. I have, uh, like I said, I've been playing with this all day, and um, this is a new flavor, actually, for me. I've been playing with this all day, and I really have uh, gotten the goods and the bads of it. So, obviously, when you get the voltage set, uh, the voltage set, 
just right. Um, it's perfect. Volt voltage is okay for me. I'm not a big fan. When I discovered this, when like I said, when you hold that down, both of them watts. It goes to three watts uh, for two nine. We'll start it at four five watts. Uh, falls back on me. Okay, that's actually okay. We'll go ahead and take it to five watts. So, uh, usually after a couple puffs, since this is a new coil in this Vivinova, where's the camera? That's a new coil in there. I usually like to see uh, where my ohms is after I puff on it a couple times. So I get an accurate, uh, still, it's, now it's 2.6. Alright, I guess that's okay. Uh, 2.6 is a little lower. It seems sometimes it's inconsistent when it measures the ohms on here. But other than that, the Vamo is awesome. The airflow is nice. Everything on this Vamo is nice except the finger magnet. Um, see, now it's, it's saying 2.7. So I think it's a little different whichever connection it makes, and usually it's uh, it's making a really good connection since it's an unforgiving post in the Vivinova. It's just performing so awesomely. It tastes a lot better. I'm going to shut this. It tastes a lot better uh, with the watts, honestly. And it just vapes crazy. Everything I put on here just vapes crazy. Now, without a tank on it, I'm going to go ahead and unscrew that. Um, it's a really big, it's a really big mod. And I have a really large hand. You know, I have a really large hand. And this is a really big, you know, it's it's really big, fits in the hand. Um, I can complete, can yeah, I can compare it. Um, I can compare it to a set of pliers. Now, this is like a medium size, maybe on the small size pair of pliers. It's really big, really thick too. Um, it's a big mod. If I go ahead and take the eighteen six fifty out, compare it to the housing itself. It's still, it's really, you know, you can tell the size is just really. It's a big size mod. It's big, it's beefy, I like it. I like the Vamo a lot. Like I said, I've been playing with this all day. I haven't even charged the battery they gave me yet all that much. Um, the 18650 doesn't budge in there at all. Everything's tight. Um, I haven't, there is a connection down, where's the camera? Down in there, not the 510, the little ego coning around that. There is a connection in there, but I do not have anything that will fit down there. Everything down there is too thick, or it has a little, you know, on it. Okay, so, you know, this is an Ego C Twist battery without the sleeve. It's an Ego C Twist right here. You know, there it's on there. Okay, here's the Ego C Twist. Now I'm just going to bring this one up right next to it. Boom. It's a little bit longer, uh, but when you go like that, you see it's so much thicker. It's ridiculously thick this mod. I'm going to turn it on and uh, we're going to try it with a cardomizer on. We're going to go ahead try it with a cardomizer on here. So I mean even with just a single cardomizer it looks really nice. Uh, let me go ahead turn that down and check my ohms. 2.2 ohms. Uh, I'll put that at 3.5 watts. Nope. Four. Nope, four, five. So this cardamizer is obviously dying, but usually everything I put on here uh, performance-wise is awesome. Uh, the battery life, like I said, um, compared to my old lava tube that got stolen from me, this seems 
really nice. Um, it has not been, you know, the battery has been just fine in there. Uh, it's not been getting hot, nothing. Everything in here just seems awesome. Like I said, everything that I put in here just performs awesome. Like I said, there is a little bit of an inconsistency because let me put the same Vivinova back on and we'll check the ohms here. Wait, why are you off? Check the ohms. 2.7 is what it's reading at now. Which side's the camera? That side. 2.7 ohms is what it's reading at now. I don't know. It's supposed to be a 2.8 ohm. It registered 2.9 at first. I used it a second. It's dropped a little bit. I forget what I had it at. I'm just going to put it at 4.5. I think I had it at 5. 5 watts. Why not? 5 watts. It's ridiculous, the performance this mod has. Um, I was always, you know, volts this, volts that. I'd sit down and I'd get paper and I'd do the math out. How many ohms, you know, I'd get this little card here, you know. Oh, you know, 2.0 to 3.2 ohms. Just a standard ego, you know, 3.7 volts. 3.7 volts, 1.7 to 3.2, 5 volts, 2.5, 3.2. 6 volts, 3, 2, 4, 5, 7.4 volts, 4.0 and 5.0 co oil coiled ohms. It doesn't even go that high. It goes 6 volts. Either way, this is awesome. Um, like I said, the only bad I have noticed about this mod is I can't fit anything down in there, but that's okay. I don't usually use clear misers or like, you know, the Stardust clear misers or any of that. I just... You know, I usually use 510 connection stuff, and I rarely use Vivinovas. Um, but whatever, for whatever reason, I screwed on here, and the Vivinova is completely different. Like I said, everything on here is completely different. Now, if I go ahead and change this to uh, to voltage here, it goes back to 3.0 ohms or 3.0 volts. Um, we'll go 3.9 on the volts. Or what is it saying now? 2.6. I don't care. 3.9. And that's still. It still performs quite nicely. Um, it is a little hot. That's why... Uh, why did you turn off again? I don't know what it's doing. Yep, it's being weird. Um, but with the uh, with the watts, the watts is a lot different than the volts on here. Um, like I said, the watts perform a lot better. It you know five watts for a two point whatever it says for a two point five now. It's it's dropping. It's slowly dropping for um. 5 watts on here on this Vivi Nova. Like I said, it's just performing awesome. Now, there is something in the Vamo world that uh, has been addressed in other people's videos that I've seen. Um, I don't know the modes. I know it's in 01 and in 02. Um, I read the blog post that a couple people put up and then a couple people showed on their videos. If you hold down that, it shows you your resistance, but there's nothing on this, so it says 9.9. .9. Okay, keep holding it. And then it says no one. Um, <clears throat> from my understanding, you don't want this on no one. I don't know why. I haven't tried it on no one. I really don't want to. Um, everybody's saying, you're going to do the same thing, just keep holding it, just keep holding it, you know, 9.9 .9 ohms, blah, 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 till you get to no two. Um, I don't know what that means. I do know that it just, uh, yeah, no two. I do know that for whatever reason, under that setting, it performs uh, better to what everybody says. Um, I don't know why, but everybody says it performs better that way. I have no issues with the performance of this mod. I have no issue with the size of this mod. I have no issue with anything about this mod. Um, it's got this cool little spring at the 
the bottom here. It's a golden spring. <clears throat> the battery is a battery, just a Panasonic IMR or CGR18650. You got these chambers in here. Everything in here looks really well built. Um, in the videos I saw it in, people would say, you know, it doesn't, it looks fragile, but it's not fragile. It does look fragile. It does look the way, you know, it does look like something that would be easily broken. All put together and all assembled, you know, battery and everything inside it. It's a real heavy, it's real beefy, you know, it's, it feels solid. You know, I feel if I drop this, it would be okay. I have dropped it already. <clears throat> haven't even had it a day, and I have dropped it, and it's been fine. Like I said, everything in this has been fine. The connection's fine. Everything, the size is awesome. Really, my only complaint is a little bit of the inconsistencies with the uh, the Ohms reader, the inconsistencies, but I'm starting to think that's the Vivinova because I'm anti-Vivinova usually. Um, but, you know... It's got, the button is real nice and just click. It just clicks real easily. All the buttons are nice. Everything on here just feels really, everything on here is sturdy. The reader board's nice. You know, everything on here is nice. And I love the way this looks in the gunmetal. This is a phenomenal mod that I would be more than happy to spend money on and get another one. This thing is just awesome, and like I said, it vapes pretty much anything I put on here. Crazy. I wish I had more examples right here with me, but I don't. As you see, I'm filming in another area of the house. Right now, we haven't moved into our, uh, our permanent house yet, but in there, the videos will be more in the same place. But this mod is just crazy. Crazy, it just puts off clouds of vapor. Just crazy. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna do I'm gonna start doing two videos at a time, I think, when I have you know a new part or a new piece. Um, I have a new flavor in here. I'm not gonna re reveal what it is until I get my my, you know, the next vid video uploaded, but right now this is the video on, uh, on the Vamo. The Vamo is just awesome. Like I said, everything I've went through, all the volts, three to six volts, I'll probably never use six volts. If there ever is the chance that I will, uh, you guys will probably see it because I'll be doing it on camera. If I get something that high resistance, uh, I probably will never use 15 watts. But, you know, it could happen. Everything about this mod, it's sturdy, the connections are good, the feel of it, you know, I feel like this was money well spent. Um, like I said, I ordered this from discountvapors.com. I got a Vamo, you know, a battery, Panasonic 18650, CGRNP, whatever that means. <clears throat> and this university, universal, yeah, this university battery charger. Um, doesn't say how much it was, um, but I know it was not over 70 bucks. Not by a long shot. Really awesome mod. That's my review of the Vamo. You guys will definitely be seeing a lot more of this here. It's, it's glorious. I love this mod. <clears throat> this is just really performing awesome. It's heavy, like I said. It's real heavy. Um, compared to the Ego C Twist, the voltage seems more dead on. I don't think that 4.8 volts on here, it's it's probably different from 4.8 volts on here. Besides, I'm not even using volts anymore. Wattage is, it's a whole different vape experience when you get the Vamo. It just vapes so much different, you know, with the watts. Just, you know, performing so much better with the wattage. I really like this mod. Either way, guys, that was my first video for today. Um, a little bit later, I will be uploading another video for today. <clears throat> I'm 
I'm not going to reveal the juice what it is right now, but that'll be up today. This will be up today. Uh, everybody, this was my review on the Vamo mod. I don't know why on here they're calling it the Transformer mod. Um, Gunmetal, nice color. Everything on here, nice color. All that said, guys, I'm Devin, Devin's Vapes, vaping the Vamo, and a very rare Vivi Nova sighting. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any questions about this, I've pretty much gone through the whole thing, and I cannot find a way to test, you know, your battery life at all. That was my video for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, I have to do some cleaning up real quick, and then I'll shoot another video. This will be uploading right now. Thank you guys for watching. Devin's Vapes.